Welcome everybody, welcome back to Homestead Heart. Today, we are going to be making our very own homemade lemon extract. Y'all stay tuned. So today has been an extract making day. I am making all extracts today. I'm going to get it out of the way. <laughs> but I decided to take you along with me for each and every extract that I am making. Now, if you haven't had an opportunity to see the other extract videos that I've already done, I will put it somewhere up in the cards below that playlist or I will post it at the very end of this video. Okay, so now what you are going to need to make your extract, you are number one, going to need lemons. Now, whether you buy them from the store or if you're growing your own lemon tree in your very own garden, don't throw away those peels because you can use them. Okay, all right. Now, of course, you're going to need lemons. Depending on the size of the jar that you're going to be using is going to determine exactly how many lemon peels you are going to need. Now, if you're going to be using a jar, something like this size, then you won't need but maybe two or three lemons at best, right? Because it is a small jar. It's an eight ounce jar. So you won't need very many lemons, maybe just two lemons, right? And that would be plenty. But for me, let me show you. My extract I am making in half gallon jars. Yes, because I make a lot. I'm making enough to last me for hopefully, depending on how much baking I do or how much I use this extract, hopefully this will be enough extract to last me just about a year. If not, that's okay. I will add more. Uh, I can make another batch six months in. And then I will guarantee myself to make sure that I will have enough extract, okay? All right, let's get started. Now, you are also going to need some water and you are going to need some vegetable glycerin, okay? Now, the glycerin will be in my Amazon store along with this little bottle as well if you would prefer to make your extract in this bottle. These things will be in our Amazon store and that link will be in the description box below. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna show you exactly how easy it is to do. All right, you all, so I have already gotten started. I have already peeled five lemons so far. These lemons will not go to waste. These lemons will be used, whether it's to make lemonade, lemon tea, lemon juice, lemon water, they will not go to waste, okay? We always have use for our lemons around here. Now, to show you how simple this is, what I am going to do first is start off with peeling my lemon. If you would prefer to use a peeler, that's fine. To me, it gets more in my way. <laughs> so I'm just gonna use my paring knife and I'm gonna start peeling my lemons. I've already started and I'm gonna do my best to not hit the flesh of the lemon. That's not always the case, but I do my best. See, <laughs> it's okay. But I'm gonna go ahead and keep peeling all the way around this lemon. And I'm trying to keep it on one strip. And I'll tell you why, because it's gonna make it so much easier to clean it up. And I'll show you what I mean. It's gonna make it a lot easier to clean it up is if I get one long strip instead of breaking it into itty bitty pieces, okay? All right, last one. Now, I am going to be adding more lemon. See that itty bitty piece? That's what you don't wanna do. I'm gonna be adding more lemons to this. 
I'm just not going to do it today because I don't have any. But I will come back and add more lemons to this. I'm not going to use that because that piece of rind had a spot on it. See, if it has any kind of damage on it, I'm not going to use that piece. Okay. Now, what I mean by cleaning it up. Now, on the inside of this rind, you have that white bitter part called pith. It's, a, it's called the pith, okay? And you don't want this in your extract. This is extremely bitter and it would make for a horrible tasting extract. So what I mean by cleaning this up is I am going to remove as much of the pith as I possibly can so that I am only left with the rind. See here? That's all I want to be left with. I don't want all of that, okay? So let me show you what I mean by cleaning it up. So I'm just going to grab one end of the uh, rind here, and I'm going to start in the center with my paring knife, and I'm going to lay it flat, and I'm going to just work my way down the rind, cutting out the pith, okay? Just work my way down, making sure that knife is good and flat and sharp, and then I'll turn it around and do the same thing going in the opposite direction, making sure I clean that out pretty good. All right, now if, I'm, if I have a little piece of rind left on here, I'll just go ahead and cut that off like that. I'm gonna get it all. <laughs> I'm gonna get it all. I'm gonna move that flesh to the side and I can go a little bit further if I want, making sure I clean all of that up as best I can. Oops. And this is all I'm left with here once I clean it up, is that rind. See that? Isn't that gorgeous? That's it. And I'm gonna put that in my bowl, okay? All right, last one. And that's how simple that is to clean that up, to get that out, okay? And again, this is all I'm left with. That's it. All right, I'm going to get this out. All right, now I have my lemon peels ready. And they smell so good. This kitchen is smelling amazing today. I dropped one. Oh, no. <laughs> anyway, you all. So this kitchen is smelling absolutely amazing. Look at these peels right here. Okay, just look at that. And they smell fantastic. So what I'm going to do now is just go ahead and stuff my peels in this jar. Now this is nowhere near enough peels for this size jar. Okay. So what I'm, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and make up my entire batch today. Okay. And then later today, I should have more lemons. I hope I don't have to wait till next week. I'm hoping to get some today. So if I do, I'll add about six more lemons. And again, I'm going to take these babies and we're going to make some delicious tea and lemonade. We got our options are endless. OK, now I'm going to fill this up still. Right now, I have about two cups of peels in here. But I want to bring this up to about four cups of the lemon peel. I really want a strong lemon extract, a strong lemon extract. The more peels I have, the stronger this is going to be as it steeps. OK, but for now, I'm just going to go ahead and continue so that you can see how easy it is to do. Now I have my lemons here. Now, the next thing I'm going to be using is my glycerin and you will use three parts of glycerin to one part water. Okay, three parts glycerin to one part water. And what I'm going to do is take my glycerin, my cup, my jar here has the measurements on the side. So I'm going to go ahead and fill this up to six parts of glycerin. Okay, and then I'm going to add two cups of water because this is going to be six cups of glycerin two cups of water so let me go ahead now and get that poured in 
it's so simple to do, y'all. I guess I should be able to see. <laughs> All right, that's my six cups. Probably should have added a little less since I'm gonna be putting more peels in here. Oh my goodness. And then I'm gonna come back and add two cups of water. That's okay because I can always, I might have enough room. I could always take a little bit of this liquid out. It'll be perfectly fine. So I'm going to go ahead and put my lid on and put it on tight. Okay. Now, now that I have the peels in the jar, see that? Isn't that gorgeous? I'm going to go ahead and give this a shake because I need to mix in the glycerin and the water. Okay. That's why you need that lid on tight. But we're going to give, just give it a shake. So now, after I give it a shake, I need more peels in this jar, and I'm going to add them later. I definitely need more peels in this jar. I can see it right now because I want a strong, strong extract, strong lemon extract. Yes, I do. All right. So now that I have this mixed in together, all I'm going to do now is I'm going to add a label. And I have lemon extract. 11121. I'm going to put this on my jar here. And this is going in my pantry. Okay. Now, I don't know if I mentioned this already, but some people, most people, a lot of people make extracts with alcohol, but I'm choosing to make a non-alcohol version of my lemon extracts. So if you prefer the non-alcohol method, then hopefully you will find this very, very helpful. Okay. So again, this is a half gallon jug here. So I am going to add in a lot more lemon peel to this. And whether I do it today or next week, it doesn't matter. <laughs> It's still going to extract all of that lemon, lemon flavor. It's going to be so wonderful. Okay. The good thing is this is not imitation. <laughs> this is the real deal. Okay. Now, how long does this have to sit in your pantry? This needs to sit in your pantry a minimum of 90 days. I do my, all of my extracts are going to be 90 days. I'm going to tell you that. Okay. Especially using glycerin. Because the glycerin doesn't do like the alcohol. The alcohol, it does pull the, it does extract those flavors really quick. But the glycerin takes a little bit longer. And I'm okay with that, okay? It takes a little bit longer to do that. So I'll give it 90 days. But even if it's not as strong as I want it in 90 days, well, guess what? I'm going to put it back in the pantry and I'm going to give it another 90 days day so this is patience however if you make extract like this especially a lot at one time you probably only have to do this once a year depending on how much you use okay and if you use a lot of extract well that's okay halfway through the year you can put on another batch and that batch will be ready for you in six months or less okay so that's what i'm doing here so in six months, if this is not, if I feel like once this is ready, if I feel like once I start using it, it's not going to be enough to get me through the year, then six months in, I will just put on another batch and date it. And then I know by the time I'm done with this one, 
that one will be ready. And I will just keep repeating the process so that I do not run out of my favorite extracts, okay? All right, y'all. So that's going to do it. How long will this last? This will last you, in, if you keep it in a cool, dark place, you can't have this in the light. We do not have those amber jars that you might get your extracts in. Those jars are dark for a reason. So don't keep this on your counter, all right? The light is not its friend. Keep it in a dark cupboard, cabinet, pantry. Keep it in the dark, okay? Now, these peels that's in here, sometimes if you want to start over again making new extract, I know sometimes people will reuse what's in the jar to continue to make the extracts with, but it's just lemon peel. And I can get lemons at any time. So I will never reuse my lemon peels at all. I will just get some fresh lemons and start fresh with a strong citrus lemony flavor. I will start strong, okay? So that's what I would advise. But you can do, if you prefer to reuse what you have, that's fine too. It's just a matter of preference, okay? All right, y'all, that is going to do it. This is my lemon extract in the making. And once I'm ready to use it, y'all know I'm going to be sharing that with you, okay? All right, y'all. So that is going to do it for today. If you haven't done so, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss a single video that we upload to our channel. Thank y'all so much again for watching Homestead Heart. Peace and blessings to each and every one of you. And I'm going to see y'all in the next extract video. <laughs> Oh, I forgot to tell y'all this. This is very important. When you finish your extract and you put your extract in the pantry, you need to go back every two or three days and give this jar a shake. Okay? Every two or three days, you just need to go in the pantry, do this real quick. Put it back on the shelf and walk away, okay? You want to keep mixing this up, all right? All right, y'all. Thanks again for watching Homestead Heart. Peace and blessings to each and every one of you. I'll see you in the next video.